living only from the senses, being dominated by the body rather than dominated by the mind. The whole purpose of this course is to make that transition, knowingly, from domination of the body in one's action by the senses to a mental one, to conceive and then create that conception, give a body to it to the extent of the conception. If one cannot conceive the whole thing, that part which he conceives, such as the motive, he may have only the motive, that concept, and the motive run in his mind over and over, but he perfects that motive, and the motive grows, goes back to the seed, and the motive grows in an orderly manner and never departs from it, its, its rhythm. The interpretation of the rhythm of that motive that comes to him from the heartbeat of the universe. Go thinking, stop thinking. Try to get out of the habit of thinking. Yes, think. Think of the things you do before you do them. Think, yes. But stop thinking in order to know what you want to think about. And the greatest thing in the world to do is to be able to st learn to stop thinking until you know what you're thinking about. The deep well of still water, the mind, that's what should be a deep well of still water. The electrical pump that we call our thought waves is inserted into that deep well and extended from it in our ways of thinking. But we should not extend or try to extend that which we do not know, because as soon as we do, we find ourselves depending not upon the deep well of water, which is the fulcrum of our existence, but our memories are stored upon our brains. Memories of experiences, memories of experiments, memories of all sorts of things impressed upon the brain and the brain merely is a storehouse of memories of senses impressed upon them by the eyes seeing something and photographing it there the body feeling something photographing that memory upon the brain until we have a vast storehouse of memories of observations of the senses <coughs> 